The latest came this afternoon when Young Thug's own brother pleaded guilty. Joe Hankey has been following this case and has a look at who has cut deals with prosecutors so far. Well, Jeff Quantavius Greer entered his guilty plea today ahead of a trial for the, a case that is scheduled to go to trial next month. Greer avoided prison by taking a deal, but he cannot have any contact now with Jeffrey Williams, his brother, better known as Young Thug. The Fifth Amendment says I am not going to testify because I refuse to incriminate myself. You can do that. Daryl Cohen is a prosecutor turned defense attorney. He's the one directing traffic. He is the one they're all afraid of. He's the one that's king slime. He is the most dangerous of the 28 judge. And I, I implore you not to grant him a bond. He is dangerous. If he gets a burner judge and the court may know this, a lot of the communications that Mr. Williams is on is on FaceTime because it's not traceable, it's not trackable. Judge, I will also say that we have taken proffers from fellow members from Mr. Williams. Some are on this indictment, some are not. They have stated uniformly that Mr. Williams is dangerous. They are afraid of him, that if they cross him, he will them and their family. And they were very clear about that. Concerns that this court has is um, danger to persons and to intimidate other witnesses and obstruct the administration of justice. So um, I, and for those reasons in the aggregate, um, I'm going to deny bond at this time. The case against Young Thug is one of the bigger deals going on in the world of rap right now, mainly because he, fellow rapper Gunna, and multiple members of the group known as YSL were arrested in a RICO case earlier this year. The charges put against them were not insignificant, and many felt that they likely would be locked away for a long time. Then things started getting interesting, when some of the people arrested in the case were getting deals to basically walk scot-free away from the case. So would Young Thug get the same treatment? It would appear as not. We'll break it down for you. But before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. The Brother Let's start with one of the newer elements in this story as another defendant named in the sweeping gang indictment against Young Slime Life has negotiated the plea deal. The big part? He's the brother of rapper Young Thug, whose prosecutor says organized the gang. When your own brother is getting out with a plea deal, that spells a problem. Fulton County court records show that Quantavius Greer pleaded guilty to one count of violating RICO Act and one count of theft by receiving stolen property. Greer, whose rapper name is Unfunk, accepted a 12-year sentence with two years commuted to time served and 10 years probation. There are conditions that Greer must meet as part of his probation. He must not have any contact with his brother, Young Thug, and other defendants until the case is over. Greer must also perform 750 hours of community service, abide by a 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew, and cannot own a firearm. If he's called by any party, the deal states that Greer must testify, but also has his Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination. Greer is one of five defendants who have accepted some kind of plea deal in the YSL gang indictment case. Winnie Lee, aka Slime Life Shoddy, Martinez Arnold, aka Duke, and Walter Murphy also took deals. That brings the number of defendants down to 23 ahead of the January trial date. Now some of you might be wondering, why does this matter? Well, it's starting to show the scope behind the case. When it comes to RICO cases, part of the quote, plan if you will, is to nab up as many criminals as possible in one shot, and then try them as a group. You won't be able to get them all, but with enough pressure and the proper evidence, you can get them to take deals or to turn on their crews. That can lead to a lot of things going the prosecution's way. So if there were 28 people arrested and now there's only 23, then the method is starting to work. And it also starts to look bad for Young Thug, especially since one of the people who took the plea deal was Gunna. Gunna was one of the two biggest names in the RICO case when it got made back in early 2022. He was labeled one of the co-founders of the group and one of the men responsible for getting some of the members out of jams when they got arrested. However, despite being denied bail earlier in the year, Gunna got a plea deal that basically gave him everything he could have wanted outside of him having to plead guilty to one of the charges. Per the terms of the plea, the rapper was sentenced to five years with one served in prison, though that one year was commuted to time served. The other four years were suspended 
ended, and Gunna's sentence will be terminated after he completes 500 hours of community service. So all in all, he kind of got off light given the circumstances he was arrested under. He could have easily served many years of that sentence, and yet he didn't. But that leaves the question of, will he snitch against his crew and against Young Thug? The answer at present is no, and he made that clear in a statement he gave after the deal was made. He tried to distance himself from what the prosecution claims YSL was, and how he's not going to testify against his crew or cooperate to bring them down in any way. My focus of YSL was entertainment, rap artists who wrote and performed music that exaggerated and glorified urban life in the black community. He said in his statement, while I've agreed to always be truthful, I want to make it perfectly clear that I have not made any statements, have not been interviewed, have not cooperated, have not agreed to testify or be a witness for or against any party in the case, and have absolutely no intention of being involved in the trial process in any way. Gonna continued, I've chosen to end my own RICO case with an Alfred plea and end my personal ordeal by publicly acknowledging my association with YSL. An Alfred plea in my case is the entry of a guilty plea to the one charge against me, which is in my best interest, while at the same time maintaining my innocence toward the same charge. The rapper concluded his statement by saying he loves and cherishes his association with YSL music and always will and plans to give back to the community and educate young men and women that gangs and violence only lead to destruction. An interesting thing to say there at the end given what YSL was accused of in terms of, well, being a gang. But you could also argue, what else was he supposed to say? Also, while he can attempt to maintain his innocence via the Alfred plea, it's still a guilty charge on his record, and he has to do those community service hours, or else he's going to have even bigger problems, which is something that Young Thug is having to deal with because of a rather big scene happening in court recently. The Baby Mama Pleas You see, one of the co-defendants for Young Thug had a very personal moment put out for all to hear in court. Specifically, the defendant had a chat with a woman who was the mother of his child. She minced no words about what he needed to do to get out of the situation he was in. By her own words, which were again played aloud before the court, she asked him to start snitching so that he could get a deal and come home to her and their child. Given that this woman likely knows the code of the streets, you know how big a deal that is. She doesn't care about her partner's street cred or who he's protecting by staying silent. She wants one thing from him, to be a father to their child, and he can't do that from prison. While we don't know if he's going to start snitching, it's something that Young Thug needs to consider, because if even one person starts snitching on him and says, that he was the mastermind behind various things, he will be in a world of trouble. Unless you're thinking, oh, but Young Thug can get a plea deal too, right? Well, no the target. Here's the thing, when it comes to court cases, especially ones involving groups of criminals, there are big fish and little fish. With the YSL Rico case, there are plenty of little fish like some of the co-defendants who have gotten out of the case with time served and community service attached to them. But for Young Thug, he's the big fish. Some people only have been stating that it's good that Young Thug hasn't taken a plea deal, but you can only take a deal if it's on the table for you. For Young Thug, it's not. That comes from a source close to the case who stated that the district attorney's office isn't going to offer a deal that doesn't leave him in prison forever. That's what we call harsh words, and it should show you just how important they consider Young Thug in this case. The source also said everyone else is optional, and that means that more plea deals could be coming for everyone but Young Thug. Yeah, that's not a good thing for him, because if everyone pleas out except for him, he could be facing a bulk of the RICO charges, and one of his former crew might take the stand against him to literally speak the nails into his coffin. But why is it that Young Thug is such a big fish in this RICO case? Well, part of it has to deal with the accusations against him and the YSL. Accusations and Crimes Want to know the easiest way to get in the crosshairs of the district attorney's office? Do something really bad, and then try to get away with it. For Young Thug, part of that deal was getting the YSL going, and apparently creating a gang that did all sorts of criminal activity that apparently included murder, assault with a deadly weapon, and armed robbery. None of that is good. But you could also argue that some of those crimes weren't done specifically by Young Thug. So doesn't that make him innocent? Not exactly because while someone else might have pulled the trigger metaphorically speaking, it could have been Young Thug who pointed the gun. For example, when the RICO news came out, Twitter was alight with details about what may or may not have happened. Young Thug is accused of ordering a second attempt to kill YFN Lucci while he's in jail. Authorities wiretapped Thug's phone and have evidence of him hiring an inmate to kill Lucci while in custody. And if you recall, Lucci was stabbed while on a jail call three weeks ago by Thug Homie. He's also accused of renting a 2014 Infiniti Q50 sedan from from Hertz, 
which was used in the commission of the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr., a rival gang member. So that doesn't look good, now does it? If they have evidence to tie him to a death or a hit that instantly trumps much of the other charges put against YSL, when you add that to how he might have created a gang that did other criminal activity, that makes him immediately responsible for their behavior. After all, they technically wouldn't have been in that position without him bringing them into the group right? And that brings us back to the plea deals. They wouldn't have offered light sentences to people that they know they could have locked behind bars. But if you were to get a big fish and be able to prove he's guilty of sin, that's another matter entirely. Making a statement. When all of this started, the DA behind the RICO case noted how they were going to use this kind of case to clean up the gangs in the area. They even said that the vast majority of crimes in the area were rooted to gang activity. The reason they're likely going so hard against Young Thug is because they want to make a statement and prove a point. If you try and start gang activity, you will be caught and put behind bars. And if the statement from before proves accurate, Young Thug will soon be convicted, put in jail, and likely never see the light of day again. And there you go everyone, a look at what's happening in the case with Young Thug and why things might be shifting into a direction that many wouldn't expect. Do you think that there's going to be a lot of problems for Young Thug going forward? What do you think will happen with him if all of his co-defendants get on the stand to testify against him? Let us know what you think in the comments down below, be sure to subscribe, and and we'll see you next time on the channel.